So let's go ahead and start up the factory and run through an automatic operation. We'll break this into uh, small chunks. Do automatic operation right now. Okay, we're connected. And, oh, we already were running. And uh, later on, I'll do a couple more videos with manual uh, operation. And, of course, take a look at all the faults uh, that get generated. Okay, so you can see I've already been running this. So we have counts for left, right, and straight through conveyors. Going to go ahead and do a fault reset. Uh, system reset to make sure I have no flags set in the system. Put the machine in auto and go ahead and do a cycle start. Okay, automatic operation. Boxes are created by the by the emitter. Boxes stop on the weight scale, they get weighed, and then there's a decision process that takes place. It directs the box either to go straight, to go left, or to go to the right. So the medium boxes, the ones like there, will go straight forward. This is another medium box, go straight forward. And you see that was eight kilograms. Take a look at the display weight, eight kilograms. Trying to get on a bit of an angle here, you can see a little bit better. Okay, there's a palletizing box, and it weighs in at three. And the PLC, the decision is the weight, three, eight, or 10 kilograms, plus or minus 100 grams. And that can be set on a setting screen, which I'll show later on as well. Uh, detection is done by either retroreflective sensors or diffuse sensors. So I got a retroreflective sensor here and a diffuse sensor in this location. Either way, uh, either one works to detect the box. Doesn't matter really which way you, uh, which sensor you use. Left, right, and front selection is uh, indicated by one of these three lights. And you can also see that the conveyor. Oops, let me do that. Uh, the feed, the entry conveyor, and the scale conveyor turn on and off. And we have our. roller table here which directs the box. Okay, now if I go over to the elevator, let's take a look at what the elevator is doing. It looks like I already have four boxes waiting. And if I take a look down here, there's no other boxes on the pallet. So if I get two more, they'll create a layer. just wait for the two boxes to come down. As you can see, the boxes get pushed around in the conveyor. Follow some physical rules. And actually, I can even hold up the box here if I just put... Oops, I just threw it off the conveyor. I have to wait for another one. Let me do that. Where'd it go? Okay, so here comes our box. Once I get the correct number of boxes, the pusher advances. Uh, the boxes get clamped just to steady them, straighten them up. The plate opens, the boxes drop onto the conveyor, and then the conveyor, in this case, will just go down one layer. And then we're gonna go ahead and build up a second layer. And if I go back to the front panel, let's just go back to the main panel for a second, you'll see that the number of layers was set for two. So I'm going to build two layers before I release that pallet. Now since the emitter is dropping randomly, I can't say exactly when we're going to have enough boxes for two layers. Okay, we only need two more. Now 
this time I won't touch it and accidentally throw it off the conveyor. Uh, if you notice this little arm came out, which is called the turn arm, and the turn arm causes the box to rotate as it's coming down the conveyor. And all I need is one more, and there's one that just got emitted, so let's follow this one. Zoom out here again so you can see the operation. And now, in this case, I build two layers and we're going to go all the way to the bottom and exit. And as soon as we get to this remover, they will dissolve and the box will disappear. The uh, next pallet's coming in place already. Once it's in place, the elevator rises, and we're ready for the next layer of boxes.